When I first started getting into cigars, I would always check out those size charts just to better know what I was smoking. I knew the Churchill was the biggest of the bunch, but everything else in between, I really couldn't help you. Every now and then though, I would see a chart that had one of the craziest looking cigars I had ever seen in my life. And this is where the story begins. Every cigar has a story. Where it's from, how it's made, who rolled it. But some stories are left untold. And like all great mysteries, the lore is in trying to solve it. Or in this case, smoke it. I'm Tony Leon, and this is Blowing Smoke. If you are a lover of the leaf, then there is no question that you forgot everything you knew about cigars when you saw this one. The rarity with these sticks made them something out of folklore and legend that only became real if you were lucky enough to hold one in person. I, of course, am talking about the mythical Culebra. Named after its shape, the Culebra weaves a snake-like pattern intertwining three cigars into one. This is done using panatelas that are underfilled, leaving them more malleable and able to twist without cracking to be tied at the ends with the ribbon or string. Now, there are very few details on its origin, but some believed it was a way to discourage theft within the cigar factory by handing out these braided bundles for the rollers to smoke instead of the main product. Another theory is that these vitolas were sold as a novelty item because after hitting the market in the late 1800s, no one had ever seen a twisted cigar before, let alone three. But quite frankly, the story that I enjoy most is that this cigar was not intended to be smoked alone, but instead shared amongst two other friends. And due to this prerequisite, the first drink that comes to mind is that of the Three Musketeers. Mainly chosen for its name alone, this delicious pun is made of equal parts coffee liqueur, cream, and dark creme de cacao to be shaken with ice and strained into a shot glass. So cheers all for one and one for all to those that you never want to toast without. Now, in doing the research on this, I found it ironic that there was just as little information on our cigar than there was the Culebra itself. And so my buddy Turtle reached out on Rocky Patel's website and heard back from none other than Hamlet Paredes himself. He informed us that the Trinity Culebra was only released at events after you bought a box of Hamlet cigars. The main goal was for people to have the chance to compare the three lines of his brand, the Tabaquero by Hamlet, the Hamlet 25th year, and the Liberation by Hamlet. These cigars are made with Honduran and Nicaraguan binder and filler, and while the Tabaquero contains a Mexican wrapper, he used a Bono for the other two. The Trinity Culebra gets a combined score of an 8 out of 10. Maybe I'm just blowing smoke, but the Culebra is the embodiment of why we come together to smoke cigars in the first place. United we stand, and divided we fall.